Oh, Alex, uh, this will be some video feedback for you on week I think two assignments. And um, I, sorry to get these in so late, but I won't penalize you for uh, submission. And if there's anything I can do to, um, to encourage you, other than grading it, <laughs> uh, let me know. Um, and don't forget to participate, you know, even if it's cursory uh, in the discussion boards, because uh, they do count substantially uh, towards your final grade. Alex, here's a few things. Um, I, I'm assuming that this is your file, your Photoshop file. Um, one thing I'm concerned about um, is the resolution. So when I open it up, I see that it's 9 by 14 at 72 dpi. Now, uh, I'm not sure how you would use this in the Amethyst Bay ads, but um, if you were to use it in a full page ads like ad like Amethyst Bay, it would have to be uh, 300 dpi. Uh, and then it comes down to two, two by three. So hope that makes sense. It's a little less than there in resolution. Now, with regard to the mask, uh, you almost have it. Um, you could easily make a mask from this simply by selecting, I think, you know, um, the transparent area and then apply it to the background. Uh, you almost have the idea, but uh, it doesn't seem that the mask is attached to the original uh, photo. Uh, rather, what you've done is you have erased out the background on a copy of the of, of the original photo. Close, very close. Alex, uh, this at first glance looks really good. Um, I see that you've got a layer for the photograph. Now, <clears throat> here's would have been an opportunity to use the uh, silhouetted image. Um, interesting, interesting to see what a fox would have looked, would have looked like. And uh, you've got the vector uh, logo all on its own layer, nice. And you have filled it with this interesting uh, background green, um, which looks good, really, against you know the, against what I can see of the corporate palette. And uh, if you want to introduce maybe an accent color <laughs> to the Amethyst Bay palette, um, that works, uh, sure. This green against that purple might actually be really uh, striking. So you got it. You got all three layers with the vector logo, um, and uh, I look forward to seeing how you start to apply the principles of design on the rest of your uh, materials.